welcome to Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. And we're over here because I didn't want to clean off the bar. Yes, and I wouldn't do shoutouts in front of a messy bar. So there you go. And I'm sorry if I seem kind of loopy. Um, more, more loopy than normal. <laughs> people pointed it out yesterday, and um, I'm on pain medication. And I'm a little woozy. See, she doesn't feel anything. I felt that. Anyway, let's get started. Andy and Tay Vlogs, welcome back, guys. We sure as heck missed you guys. We know it's rough when you have a new baby, but man, is he adorable. We're going to go ahead and put a link down below to their channel so you guys can go by and check them out. So, welcome back, guys. We sure did miss you. The kids are definitely growing up. WRX Beauty. That's my niece, Casey. She was sending us clips, and we were putting them in our vlogs while she started her own vlogging channel. Thank you very much, Casey. So, welcome to the neighborhood, WRX Beauty, and we will put a link to her channel as well. Falcon Star, welcome to the neighborhood. Marketette Clevenja, welcome back. We sure as heck missed you too. Glad you are doing well. Hope you get everything done and get back into uh, the swing of YouTube again. XX2, XX Mail 92, welcome to the neighborhood. Kevin Kirby, welcome to the neighborhood. He's over from Angie on YouTube. Yep, thank you, Angie. Sheriff Jam 917, welcome to the neighborhood. The Fab Four, welcome to the neighborhood. Eva Almagar, go check out her music videos. I'll make sure to leave a link below. Pretty awesome. She doesn't speak any English, right? I, I don't know if she does or not, but uh, she sings in English, but uh, she's Norwegian. Norwegian. Yeah, we. We found her on uh, Jerome Opper's uh, channel. Yeah, Pretty so good. we'll leave a link to that like below. Watching. Pretty awesome. Kaylin Koopa, welcome to the neighborhood. And she's over from Pyro Nation, so thank you very much. Rachel R., welcome to the neighborhood. Hallie Rapp, welcome to the neighborhood. The Blended Spiral Path. Welcome to the neighborhood. Daryl Roper, welcome back. We sure as heck missed you. And don't worry, Boomer's just fine. He just needed a haircut because of his dander. It was really bad, and they couldn't, he couldn't clean himself. But he loves it. He really does. Okay, we got a couple of birthdays to celebrate. Scott Jenny Active Videos. Happy birthday to Scott. Sylvia Phillips' son, Jerry. Happy 14th birthday to you. And Crystal Adonolfi, my niece, is birthday is tomorrow. No, the 19th. Happy birthday to you, Crystal. And my mom and dad's wedding anniversary is tomorrow. So happy anniversary to you, mom and dad. Okay, updates and thoughts and prayers. Belinda Alberry, update on her foot surgery. Healing properly, back to work, five days a week, five hours a day. She's doing everything the doctor told her to do. Very, very proud of you for that because if you don't, you can really mess up your feet. Trust me. Lisa from Lisa's Family Vlogs. She had her gallbladder removed a couple months ago and is having some complications and needs to have minor outpatient bladder surgery. It's a very painful surgery and very painful recovery. Um, so please, if everybody could keep her in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate that. So, 
Bella Luna, send thoughts and prayers, good vibes, light candles, whatever we need to do to send help her way. Her husband has a possible malignant tumor. So let's keep positive thoughts and prayers and um, good vibes going their way for uh, good results. Big D, his wife Carla, um, needs some thoughts and prayers. She's in the in the hospital with a Crohn's issue. Um, this is what put her in the hospital for a month a few years back. For a whole month she was in the hospital. And Big D is also having some medical issues himself and is just making everything really, really tight are really, really tough on the entire family. So if we could possibly send um, positive thoughts and prayers to Carla um, and Big D and the entire family and keep them in your thoughts and prayers, we would greatly appreciate it. Big D is very special to me. I've never met Big D, but um, we have a special bond and I'd like to, to keep them Keep those prayers going for those guys and help them out as much as we can for sure so yeah meet the Presleys thoughts and prayers for both um, but Josh right now is going through some medical issues um, so if we can please keep them in our thoughts and prayers as well that everything goes well with his procedures and his tests and everything and that everything comes back with good news okay <sighs> so that's that. Wow. Wow, that was a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, my last week's question was, last trip or vacation you took, where did you go, and was it for business or pleasure? Okay, and I'm going to read four people. We're going to start with Susie here. My hubby and I, last May for our 10th anniversary went to a haunted castle in Kalamazoo, Michigan. It was amazing. I even was touched while I was sleeping. We found out later that our room was the most haunted room in the castle. Lucky you. That sounds like an amazing vacation and I would love to do something like that. Absolutely love it. Angie on YouTube. <sighs> the last trip I took, I think, to Oregon to look for a rental. Laugh out loud. So glad that all didn't pan out and we're all here with you now. Me too. Ruby man. Very glad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry it went the way it did, but you're here now and that's what matters. Yep. Portland Creek Diaries. Last vacation was last summer to Iceland. Definitely going back. Loved it. We Skype. Our, Michelle and I FaceTime a lot. And I FaceTimed with her while they were there. And the sights that they were showing me were beautiful. And it just sounds like a beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, and the last one I'm going to read, there's other ones here, please feel free to go and read those, um, was Maria Cisnero Tolf. Uh, last vacation my hubs and I took was almost three years ago. We met our son and his family in Orlando and got to spend four days at all of the Disney parks with our grandchildren courtesy of my friend and her family who work at the parks. Happy memories. Cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be awesome to do that. So those are the ones I'm going to read. My question for this week is... You guys' answer. Oh, that's right. We didn't do our answers. Your last trip was... My last trip was to Oregon to visit one of my best friends friends to get away from the craziness so Kevin could finish the house and that trip didn't go as planned. No. I went to Oregon. Um, Kevin didn't get to finish the house. I got injured at the airport. 
I got scared by a spider and walked into a cactus. I had dumping syndrome. I got a cold and I brought two people and a dog back from Oregon with me. But it was a great vacation. I guess mine was to Joshua Tree. <laughs> a bit. But that was fun. It was. <coughs> so my question for this week is, what did you do for Valentine's Day this year? Did you spend it with someone special? Or did you spend it alone? It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so last week's question had to do with my bloody Valentine 1981, the first one. Uh, the question was, what kind of mining were they doing in the mine in the movie? And it's, the answer is, they never say. However, they were using a real mine that was an actual coal mine in Nova Scotia, so everybody just assumed it was a coal mine. They were using equipment from the actual mine, so it's safe to assume it was a coal mine. Uh, and those who got that were correct was Terry Johnson, Tanya Longley, and the Abyss 92882. Woohoo! Okay, tonight's question, since we're get, uh, coming up on um, St. Patty's, Patty's Day, Day um, question is, or, there's seven leprechaun movies. Seven leprechaun movies. Only one of them actually on, are on St. Patrick's Day. Which one? Ooh, good question. Very good question. There you have it, everybody. There's your trivia question and your daily question. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure you go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you guys next week.